Communication is a fundamental aspect of human interaction, shaping the way we connect, share, and understand the world around us. At its core, communication involves the transmission of information encompassing an array of elements such as thoughts, ideas, and emotions. It is a multifaceted process that extends beyond mere words, encompassing various forms of expressions and channels through which we convey our messages. Imagine a teacher entering a classroom with a warm smile and a confident posture. Without uttering a word, they communicate their enthusiasm and readiness to engage with their students. As they begin the lesson, their gestures, eye contact, and tone of voice all convey a sense of passion for the subject. So even a subtle nod of approval acknowledges a student's thoughtful question, encouraging further participation. In this scenario, the teacher's non-verbal cues alongside their verbal interaction create a dynamic and effective form of communication that fosters a positive learning environment. As social creatures, communication is an inherent part of our daily lives. We engage in conversations using spoken languages, utilizing the power of words to convey our thoughts and ideas, but communication isn't limited to verbal exchanges alone. Our body language, facial expressions, and gestures all play a role in transmitting information. These nonverbal cues often speak louder than words, offering insights into our emotions, intentions, and our attitudes. Moreover, the communication isn't confined to face-to-face -face interactions. In our modern world, we have developed various channels and tools to facilitate communication over distance and across time. These channels, collectively known as media, have evolved over time and encompass a wide spectrum of mediums from traditional platforms like television and radio to digital innovations like the internet and the mobile phones. Defining media can be complex as scholars have differing perspectives. So in a technical sense, media can be seen as the tools we have devised to amplify and extend our communication. But you can also consider the soapbox that a passionate speaker stands upon to deliver a speech. It's a medium through which their messages reach a larger audience. Yet, if we broaden our understanding of the media, we can also include the most fundamental communication tools we possess, our hands, voice, and eyes. These two can be seen as channels of communication connecting us to others in meaningful ways. However, when we delve into discussions about mediated communication or mass communication, we are often referring to the first category, the technical mediums that we have transferred from where we share information on a grand scale. Television, the internet, radio, and mobile phones are all examples of these mediated channels. They've become integral to how we exchange news, entertainment, and ideas across vast distances and diverse cultures. So, in conclusion, communication is a rich tapestry woven from various threads, spoken words, non-verbal gestures, signs, symbols, and mediated channels. It is the lifeblood of human interaction, allowing us to express ourselves, connect with others, and bridge the gaps between our individual perspectives. So, understanding the nuances of communication can empower us to navigate the web complex of human relationships and contribute to a more connected and harmonious world.